everybody and welcome back. It's me, Shweeby. Welcome back to Life is Strange 2, episode 4, Opposite Series. Previous episode, a lot of really bad, dumb things happened, which makes perfect sense. This is our very bad decision-making, very dumb stuff happen and run. We did manage to kiss Finn, but we also managed to kill Finn at the end of it. My concern with this episode is... Considering we've gotten Daniel to believe, or not believe, rather, in the religious stuff, how is this cult that we're about to go to, because you can't tell me any different, how is that going to work? Daniel. We're going to find out, and I'm sure it's going to no be way. nuts. I really hope they can keep going. The cops and doctors won't tell me anything about what's going on with you, except that you were seriously injured and in official police custody. They interviewed, interrogated me. Hannah and Penny let us go. You weren't so lucky, I guess, or maybe you earned it. Oof. My heart is still broken over Finn's death, and we all can't believe somebody with so much life isn't here anymore. I have dreams about him all the time. Yep, he was a fuck-up, but he was our fuck-up and our family. With Finn gone, our real family is roadkill. Now we're just a lonely trio. Train hopping all over, but it feels like we're in a loop to nowhere. Hannah and Penny aren't the same, and we fight too much. I'm not even sure we'll be together for much longer. Shit changes, right? But no way I'm going back to Hillsboro. I know you're going to trial soon over the Seattle situation. I hope you'll get some form of justice. I hope you and Daniel find your way home soon. I'm not sure I will anytime soon. Peace, Cassidy. Oh, that's so awful! I hate this run! <laughs> I really do, but I want to see like just like how bad can it really get, you know? Yeah. All right, so here's my plan. I done stole the bar off the wall. Closing the curtain. I'm gonna see if maybe I can lure the guard in here, maybe knock him out. I know that's maybe kind of a bad idea, but that's kind of what we do, right? Hey, sir. Hello. Okay. What's wrong now? Oh. Head hurts. I need aspirin. That's a sad story, but I'm not a pharmacy kid. Oh, we can't... I could trick him into coming in here and then How would knock I... him out. How would I trick him in here, though? Would I need to make more noise? I want to do the really dumb bad thing, so this is what we're doing. I feel like we need the curtain here in the way probably uh i know we can escape through the window yeah look oh look under the bed what's under the bed nada hey baby joey could probably distract the guard dog ah uh, do we want to use joey Ah, yeah, we could use our, our good friend to do some dumb things. Why not? But then where the hell uh, is he? Oh, there he is. Hold on. You can't go in there. For the patient calls, I have to respond. Like now. Oh, that little prick is trying to pull some shit. Not on my Ooh. watch. <laughs> this is my watch. So okay. Excuse me. I'm going in. Get him, Joey. So we called Joey. I stole the bar off the wall. I'm trying to do as many dumb things as possible. So I think we're going to use Joey as a distraction. Oh, here he comes. Cool. Hey, there's my second favorite patient. <laughs> gotcha. You never stop working, Joey. I'm doing a double night shift. Oof. Diane is out with a flu, so lucky me. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I'm fried. But that sweet, sweet overtime. Mm -hmm. Sean, you look stressed. You feeling okay? Uh. Oh, I don't want to lie to Joey. I love Joey. I know where Daniel is. Yeah, I know where my brother is. What? How? I found a note in the sketchbook you brought me. He's in Nevada. With, um, a friend of ours. Fuck, Sean. That's awesome. Now that's good news. Nevada sucks, but at least the kid is safe. Listen, Joey. I need to get out of here. What? Come on, Sean. You know I can't let you do that. You know I'm on your side, man. Now, I don't blame you for being scared. You're leaving tomorrow. But don't fuck around with this. You hear me? 
It's gonna make it worse, but still. Ugh. But I'm innocent. You know I am. You even told me. I said you're a good kid. But it doesn't matter what I think about you. I'm not the police. You really want me to help you break out of here. So what happens to me? I lose my job, go to jail. I have a girlfriend, a rent to pay, a future. <laughs> uh, do we want to play the guilt trip card of no future for me? Well, no, we'll just say I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry, Joey. I was... I was being selfish. I just... I want to help my brother. It's all I can think about. He's ten years old. And out there, all alone. He needs his big brother. Sean, I wish I could help you. I swear, but I can't do this. Joey, please. Look, it's not fair to ask me to give up my job and my life. To maybe possibly help you escape? I know. I'm just desperate. Let's forget about this, okay? I'll do anything else I can to help. Now, I really gotta get back to my shift. I'm tired already. That's totally fair. And I can't blame Joey for the way he acted. Oh, there's a choice here! We can attack him? Our best buddy? No, that's so dumb and perfect for our dumb bad guys. Would we really attack our best buddy? Okay, if this were the good uh, smarty thinky pants, I would just give up. But this is our dumb run, so obviously we have to attack you. I didn't realize just how many other choices are hidden amongst this game. It's nuts. Um, But before we attack him, because I'm gonna attack him, I totally understand where Joey's coming from. And I, I understand where Sean's coming from, too. But it is very selfish. Because if he helps, obviously the only thing that's going to link to him being able to escape would be Joey. He His life would just... It would stop right then and there. And that's not fair. So... We're going to attack Joey. We've got the stick of beatness in our hands. I'm sorry, Joey. I love you, Joey. Where did you pull that out from? Oh. Oh shit. Uh, I I'm sorry, Joey. You better hope he's not dead. Wait, what about the guard? Oh, the guard's not even there. Oh. I thought we were going to beat up the guard. I really thought we were supposed to somehow lure the guard in and beat I wonder if that's still like a, a hidden option in there that I just like didn't do a specific thing. I am so sorry, Joey! I didn't mean to beat your ass. I definitely wanted to beat the guard's ass, but that's different. We just beat up our best bud. What the hell? He's been there for us the entire two months we've been there. And I don't blame him in the least for going, no, I'm not gonna help you. You'll I'll ruin my life. No. Oh, does this just immediately skip to the car because oh Meryl's there Fuck. Meryl oh. he must be in pretty bad shape if he's been kept here for so long no I'm not gonna cry for you asshole wow no that makes sense because I mean Finn's dead and Cassidy wasn't there so they would leave the other seriously injured people Meryl and Big Joe Wow, that is so different. So now we're gonna try to take it back and probably get punched in the mouth for doing so. Yeah, probably. Mm. Whoa, you did not. That's it, boy. Oh, or headbutted in the face. Okay. Get up. Ah. Up. Piece of trash. You're not even a human being, okay? You hey, are just Chad, a piece of trash. We fucked with him. No, of him course go. his name is Chad. I forgot. Hold on a sec, Mike. But I'm willing to give you one last chance to make things right. Sing something. What? Just pass the audition and you're free. 
hate this guy. You'll be very upset if you refuse. I hate this guy so much. I do wonder, though, considering in this instance we chose to take it back, if we chose to refuse, um, would that have, like, led to him, like, severely beating his ass? Like, I mean, obviously that, that happened during the live stream, but, like, could it have been way worse? But in the live stream, everybody was screaming, Refuse! Refuse! Down with the Chad! So, we're gonna sing. I have been told that it's actually a very sad song, so let's see what that's like. Oh, he backed up. <laughs> Jeez, enough! Let the boy finish his song. Go on. Go on. Estrellita, ¿dónde estás? Pregunto que seas. It sounds almost like it's Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, but I don't think it's that. Cuando nada brilla más. Tú nos muestras tu brillar, brillas, brillas, sin parar. Estrellita, ¿dónde estás? Me pregunto, ¿qué serás? Well, damn! I think you just won Mexican Idol. <laughs> fuck you, Chad. Now pick up all your shit and get the fuck out. Don't ever come back. Understand? You're nothing more than just a piece of garbage bully. Wow. May you rot in the ninth circle of hell. And anybody else that acts like you. Y'all already know how I feel about all this. If you weren't there for the live stream, trust me, it's very passionate. Fuck! Just for reference, I did look up the song that Sean was singing to find out it is indeed Twinkle Twinkle Little Star in Espanol. Very interesting and kind of cool that I managed to figure that out based on context clues. Clues. Wow. Clearly English isn't my first language either. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, need a lift? It's too damn hot to be walking. Can we refuse? Oh, wow. We can straight up... We can continue to walk. I forgot about this one. This is gonna suck. Because the guy is generally a nice guy. Most truckers are. I've only ever met, like, maybe a couple that weren't. But that's just because it had nothing to do with their being a trucker. It was just that they were just awful people. Um, Dang, we're really gonna walk? Ah, alright. That's nah, a... I'm just gonna walk. Alright, kid. If you want to roast out there, it's, it's your call. Uh, I'll be fine. Thanks. Dang. So, 17 hours later, we're gonna make it to our point, or this guy is just gonna run us over. Pick one. Does he straight up leave? Yeah. Are we right up in his way, probably? Ciao. Thanks for the help, man. Back to square one. Uh, Maybe I should have trusted that guy. Yeah, well, bad decisions and all that. Jeebus! It, the, <laughs> it's a sign! Jeebus! Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I like to amuse myself. Have you noticed? Again, how is it that Daniel got brainwashed with this? I mean, she's definitely got that silver tongue aspect. There's no denying that. But since the beginning of the game, we got him to believe that this was bullshit. So I'm somehow incredibly confused as to what she said and or did to get him to think that he's an angel or whatever. How did that happen? I hate this place. The most. Don't you ever come back? Oh my god. 
Ah, oh, I know the sad thing is, the sad thing is we did the best option during the live stream, which was get up and attempt to try and do something. But in this one, we're just gonna do nothing. I still... How did she manipulate him? We got him to believe that it was bullshit, and yet somehow she twisted his little brain to think that this is how it is. I'm still confused and upset about this, okay? I think it's less that Daniel believes. I wonder if it's more he's just done of running Daniel! away. Daniel! You know what I mean? He just wants You're to be in a place off. called home. This is private property. I have a legal right to stop any intruders like you. I don't want to know anything. Ooh. Seriously, I think I already know exactly who you are. Oh, you do? Well, tell me, who am I? Just a bored, selfish woman who abandoned her family because she burned out. Sometimes it takes longer for adults to grow up, Sean. Mm. I'm gonna choose to not even really give her a chance to explain herself or even have Sean to have the desire to learn anything about her. And I really want to see how this interaction is going to go. So you just left. Overnight. Later, kids. Have a good day. Hmm. Easy. You don't remember it because you were so young. But it really didn't happen overnight. And nothing was easy. It took months of talking it through with your dad. With my parents. With myself. I didn't have a choice, Sean. We only have one life, and I didn't want mine to be spent in regrets. For years, I fooled myself, thinking I'd find satisfaction into what society expected me to be, and that was my mistake. I hope someday you can understand that. But I never stopped caring about you. <sighs> For what it's worth, I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel. She didn't and regret having not. kids, but she didn't want to be tied down to one spot. Oh, please. It's too fucking late for that shit. No matter what, you left your own kids and my dad. So don't even... I know it's too late. I just... I want you to know how I feel. Yeah. I still don't care. Jeez. Hmm... Going pretty much as I expected so far. How much more of a toolbox are we going to be towards her, though? Though I understand him being upset. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely understand him being upset. And I can definitely understand how Karen feels. Like, there's so much expected of us to live a very certain and specific way, no matter who you are. And... When that's not actually your dream, and how you want to live your life, it's exhausting. And hope crushing. Sean, whatever you want to say to me, this is the time. Hmm. Let's just get it all out in the open, see what happens. Why do you want to talk about all this shit now? I don't care. You were gone for eight years. Then you get one weird letter, and you jump into action to save Daniel? Is that all it took? If I didn't step up to help him now, I couldn't live with myself. For a second there, I thought it was just floating out of her mouth. <laughs> Didn't realize it was black towards the closer to her lip. It's pretty funny. Oh, we can go back inside. I gotta change my dressing. This thing fucking hurts. Wow. Though I'm surprised he didn't take this to the bathroom, at least. Close the door or something. Sean, 
I know I can't change the past. Or what I did. But this is about helping your brother. You gotta trust me this one time. No, I don't. Oh, his poor feet! Not after what you Oh, did. that's just one giant blister. But that's yes. all that is. That's not a foot anymore. We have to be a team to rescue Daniel. We can do it. Okay. How? We need to get in touch with this Jacob. He obviously knows a lot more than us about the church. Well, I called him when you were out. We can meet with him tomorrow. Okay, good. I also got these, just in case. <laughs> My glitchy walkie-talkie. For those of you that were there okay. during the live stream, it got stuck in mid-air, so hopefully that won't so, happen again. You feel like telling me the story here? Not really. Gotcha. Yep, well, yeah, we'll just take this to the here, bathroom. Try this on. Now you're a pirate. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say, if he really didn't want her to help him, he should have taken this to the bathroom, and yeah, here we are. Okay. I had seen pics of where we actually just see his eye. I, I wonder why throughout the game we don't do that. Granted, I'm sure early on it would have been gross, but I could have sworn I'd seen look? a pic somewhere online where it just shows it's just white. Great. Thanks. Like a pirate. Big day tomorrow. Arg, my so heart. We should get some rest. Yeah. What's up? You got company. That thug who works for Elizabeth. A man just spoke with him. Now he's coming your way. I this knew they were gonna see us. Okay, Sean. now. In the live stream, I was worried about him thinking maybe I had messed up, and we got caught. This time, I'm gonna stay in the closet at all costs. No. Uh, it might be too dangerous. Uh, we'll figure it out. Okay. But be extra careful, please. Sean, we gotta hide. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not no. even gonna worry about you. you. You worry about you. I'm gonna worry about me. Goodbye, I'm hiding. You could come in oh, here yeah. too, but whatever. Okay, I'm just gonna sit. We're gonna sit. We're gonna wait. We're gonna sit, and we're, and we're gonna wait. Come on, Sean. We need to hide. I am hiding. You need to hide. And behind the door is a dumb he idea. Finds us here. We're screwed. Yeah, it's because he's panicking. It was making me panic, and you're still making me panic. Hide somewhere. Get in here. Squeeze in with me, brah. Oh no, you're gonna get caught. Nope, he's just gonna hide behind the door like a goober. That's not a safe place to be. Oh, he's coming in. He's coming in. Hey, I know you're somewhere in here. And if I find you... Mm. Oh. You know, if they closed that filing cabinet, this might have looked a little less conspicuous. Don't breathe, Jacob, because I'm sure he's being nosy. How you thought being behind the door was a good hiding spot, I'll never know. Don't come over here. Don't come over here. Don't come over here. He's coming over here. Don't come over here. Shh, sugar, honey, ice peas. Ah, he still found us. I mean, of course he did. Ah, here, dude, I've already got a bruise huh? there. Cut it out. Stop! Let him go, Nicholas. Ha! Wow. Passing too, you little fag. You were always trouble. I'll deal with you later. Now come with me, shithead. Okay, so not much changed. He was gonna find us no matter what. I wonder if there was a better oh, hiding no. spot there. I'm sorry. I was so confused. I thought she was someone else. I'm sorry. Sean, we need to get out of here. Now. Jeez. 
I hated this scene so much. It... You will all burn in this hell. This is your fault. Your... Sean. Oh. Oh. Wait. We didn't even get a choice this time. She really did try to use me. She hurt you. She's mad. Okay. This is different. This is so different than what originally happened. And again, I think that's a lot based on the influence that we've uh, done to Daniel up to this point, which makes sense. And because this is the bad, dumb decision uh, route, we are not going to intervene. It's a weird form of justice, I guess, but okay. He's gonna snap her neck, I guarantee it. <gasps> Oh, yep, that's she's exactly just, what happened. You're just... She's the dead. It, it was for her us. Go open the door, Dan. Let's go. I'm curious as to how the relationship is gonna go now, considering the mom witnessed us kill a person. I think that's the first person Daniel has killed, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, he's seen the death of Finn. He killed a puma. Good lord. Like, I'm obvi obviously, I'm not surprised, like, just how different things are, but I am all at the same time. Because it's popping up different options that originally wouldn't be there. Because it's not strictly A and B. It's like A, B, C, D, and Q for no reason, but leads to very interesting results. God, just, we are creating, like, the world's, like, most scariest young supervillain. I am already on pins and needles to see how this is gonna end in, in the next episode. Oh, I thought he died, too. No, he somehow made that. Okay. Oh, and was that his wife, or... Oh, he has no remorse or regret in his eyes. Well, thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts on just how different this is compared to the live stream down in the comment section below. Let's hear them! Holy crap! Daniel's a supervillain. Battle cries. Woo! Yeah! I'll see you guys in the next episode. I'm